today. We'll only be here for a few minutes, so we'll definitely make it worth your time. If you want to come in even closer. Starbies. Animal Kingdom. Hi. Just another lovely day here on Pandora. They're all clear. Great. System components. Active. On our left here, these are Nile hippopotamus. Nile hippos can hold their breath for up to about eight minutes at a time, so they'll stay fully submerged in the water for the majority of the day. And they are very small, but they're still very mighty, so a few sports teams in Africa have chosen them as their mascot. Kind of like your dog in your backyard, they just go out and uh, dig up all those holes. See scientific word for finger legs, so their tongue wraps all the She's kind of crossing her back legs there as she eats. That's not a behavior that she picked up from mom. Uh, they sleep all day, they gain up all that energy. That way when they do go out to do their hunting and protecting at night, they're going to do that to the best of their abilities when their eyesight's a little better. <laughs> Nice comfy spot to sun ourselves there. Sir, you can't park here. Hey, sir. Ugh. Did you get locked out? Ah, finally made it back to my desk after 30 years. Nothing's changed. Button, Lhasa, mm, not gonna say that. Cat, man, do, and ever rest. Look at all these Northeasterners, not prepared for the Florida rain. Crazy. The Dino Institute. I love dinosaurs. How about you? Still not working. I think it's too wet. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our Dino should. The Dino Institute welcomes you. But aren't we leaving? All right, now the family is going to Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Oh, this feels so good. Can I have some? Oh, thank you. You're so kind. You're welcome. This is Michaela's first time on Space Mountain. I'm kind of excited. Yeah. 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 I couldn't have said it any better myself. Oh no, Peter Pan! What happened? Hey, at least I won't have extremely long waits now. The haunted mansion is down. I'm so scared. <laughs> I see dead hey y'all, I can't wait for the Country Bear Jamboree to be back open. Roll Tide. Kind of goes on your oh no, my ear. We we're waiting to get on Tron. And both my dad, my mom, and me have our phones out for this. All right. 
right, here we go. Hi, uh, I can't wait. I'm very excited. <laughs> I've been here for half a year, but I'm still not used to these crowds. Confectionary. Heading back to the resort. It'll slide in. Going through Disney World, but going to the beach today. I have a feeling we're not in Orlando anymore. Publix, the holy grail of Florida. Went into the water for a little bit. Now, time to eat my lunch from Publix. So at Publix, they have this combo deal where you can get a sub, a drink, and some chips. And you save $1 on everything. So that's what I did. Right. And I got myself a roast beef sub. Let's try it out. This is probably the most Floridian thing I've done now. I should get the ocean in the background. That's good. And a Publix raspberry iced tea. Oh my God, that is incredible. <laughs> oh, he's moving fast. So today they're doing a sea turtle, sea turtle release here at Cocoa Beach. And we got a front row view to it. I'm honestly kind of excited. So my mom was the one who originally found out about all this stuff. Was it through Facebook? Uh, no, I was Googling Cocoa Beach because they're coming here and I saw it. Uh, better, better explanation than I could give. Yeah. This was a conservation effort by the Brevard County Zoo. And I'm guessing over there is local news. The escort. All right, they're moving forward. This is a lot more chaotic than I was expecting it to be. I, at least I got to see him getting loaded off. Woo! Yeah! I love turtles. I like turtles. And now we head off to go do something. My desert. My Arrakis. My dune. So, where are we going off to now? Disney Springs. Disney Springs. Disney Springs. Alright, so that'll be easier then. So many choices. 
Hey, look. They're leftovers. To my left. But on his right. No, okay, it's leftover on his side. Okay, now it's leftover. All right, walked around World of Disney for a little bit, and Makila's getting her own new mouse now. Are you excited? Yes. Oh, that's and good. I also got her pride clothing. Very colorful. Yay! Mm -hmm. Another day, another visit to Epcot after work. So originally, today, I wanted to go on Guardians after work, but I wasn't able to get a lightning lane for it, so... I'm just gonna get some food. Oh, may we? Look at where we are. Oh, oh here we go. We are going to go down this little alleyway right here and go to the bakery. Ah, same be value. So most of the time when I come into these pavilions, I hardly ever like have quick service, but I decided tonight, hey, why not? So I got this uh, called Bisque de Omar, which is a lobster bisque soup, I believe. In the United States, they call this a Napoleon, but in France, it's called Mifai, which just literally translates to thousand sheets. And I had it once before at a different bakery, ironically, here in Florida. That was a French cafe. I was like, hey, why not? I'm already spending enough money here. Bon appetit. Mm. Oh no. Oh well. I got snacks. I wasn't expecting to have so many snacks tonight. My mom would definitely be saying right now, Justin, you should be saving up instead of spending all this money. And she's right. Honestly, though, this is why I like coming to Epcot because you never know what you're gonna find. I feel like if I stay any longer here tonight, I'm going to end up spending the rest of my money on food. So, since I didn't get the chance to go on Guardians tonight, I'm just gonna call it a day now. And it's only seven o'clock. Welcome aboard the Walt Duncan Transportation System. <laughs> so something different that I'm doing today, I'm actually picking up a shift from a different location compared to my home location. And honestly, I'm excited to finally work somewhere different. So I picked up the shift today. It was pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie. But the cherry on top to today was me putting my stuff inside a locker and I totally forgot the combination for it. So looks like I'm coming back here tomorrow before I have a shift at my home location. So I finally got my bag back and Mickey, he had a nice sleepover here at the Beach Club Resort. And now we are enjoying lunch on the beach. Turkey sandwich. <sighs> Free shift snacks. All right, time for work. I honestly had no plan of what I was actually gonna do today, but while I was in Duncan, I decided to make a reservation for Hollywood Studios. So it is 1.20 p.m. and I'm gonna be heading over now. Hooray, I've made it to Hollywood. And now it's time to go to Galaxy's Edge. It's funny because literally every time I'm here, I'm like, ah, oh, I love going back to 1939. And then as soon as you enter towards Galaxy's Edge, it's like, oh, I guess we're not in 1939 anymore. Hmm? Boing, 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 boing. Toy Story, Star Wars. Toy Story, Star Wars. Toy Story, Star Wars, and Mickey. 
Have you ever seen that really old movie, The Empire Strikes Back, when Han Solo was frozen in carbonite? I'm sure this guy could use some of it right now. Hello. You are a poor ambassador. If someone in this outpost knows something, we need to find them. I know where the rebel spy is, but they're not asking me. Every single time. I know where the rebel spy is. I know where he is. Hi, Chewbacca. Hello there. Rise of the Resistance is at a 45 minute wait right now, so I'm taking full advantage of that and just booking it over. Let's go resisting. Hmm, I wonder if these are the same guys from before. Oh no, bro. This ship is crawling with stormtroopers. This corridor to the turbo list, then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Ah! Your escape pods came in a little off target. Where's the yeah. lieutenant? Resistance. It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to get things started on the Muppet Show tonight. It's the Muppet Show with our very special guest, Leaving Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Hello, hi there. Welcome to my pod. How you doing? Hello. He looks nothing like me. So I finished watching Muppet Vision 3D, and I think it's very interesting because the uh, Stage 1 Company Store was the former gift shop for Muppet Vision, but it closed as of now. But it's just so fascinating because you can see there's like, the lighting for the building is still up. And especially back here, there's stuff still on the walls. I just think it's pretty interesting that they just decided to keep here, but just have it blocked off. Pizza Rizzles. I feel like today's a pretty chilled out day for me here because most of the time I've just kind of been all over the place looking like to get to everything I possibly can. But today I'm just like, eh, I'm walking. I'm walking here. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. I took a look at the weather radar to see what it is right now and the storm surge has passed. There's a little bubble with nothing and then another storm surge, so. I'm trying to figure out, should I stay or should I go? -da 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 -da. This is the first time I've ever seen Tower of Terror over an hour wait. Like, what the hell? I left my portable charger at Pizza Rizzo's, so I gotta head back there. Finally. I'm legit out of breath. Guess when I, I went to Dunkin' this morning, I was charging it and I didn't want to forget it there. And now, here, it's inside, so I should be okay. All good. And honestly, since I have the flexibility to come here whenever I want to, I might just do Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster again another day. So, I'm just gonna head out, maybe watch a movie tonight. Just chillax, as the young people say. I think I left in just enough time because now the storm's starting to approach closer. And I got to have lunch, go on a ride, and I'm all good.
So tonight I'm going to be working my longest shift that I have on this program. And I'm going to be working until 2 a.m. So I need all the caffeine I can get today. This isn't a sponsorship, but I really want this. So I'm at the Walmart right now in Winter Garden, and I just did a little bit of shopping, but something else that I did today, I decided to get myself some Krispy Kreme donuts. They have this little kiosk here where you can uh, customize what type of donuts you want to get. I took a picture of Mickey with it, and at first I was like, ah, oh, I wonder what I'm going to post on Instagram about this. And then I decided on the Krispy Mouse Club because if I did the Krispy Kreme Club, uh -oh. It's funny, I've been here for over half a year now and I finally got myself a magic band. I always feel like I end up here one way or another. Look at all this moisture on the windows, that's insane. spacecraft the x2 space shuttle it's powered by solid hydrogen for the cosmic generator does anyone know what they call themselves excited what <laughs> just rub guardians now it's time for work so today i just finished up with work and i'm going over to hollywood studios to go uh ride tower of terror because Yesterday was actually the 30th anniversary of the ride, and I wasn't able to go yesterday, so I'm gonna do it right now. And I'm all prepared because I got Mickey, I got my Disney shirt, and I've got a magic band. I swear I wasn't a Disney adult before I started my program. Now look at me. Hey, Mom. Oh boy, looks like a storm's brewing. We better move fast. <laughs> and also because I've been here for so long, I've just kind of become used to the weather and I'm not going to let that stop me from enjoying my day. Because you could get rained on, but getting rained on at Disney is so much better. I have this emergency poncho just stuffed in my bag for whenever I needed it. Right now is a good time. Ah, perfect. Welcome to Hollywood. Guess it never rains in Southern California. All right, so before I head on to the Tower of Terror, I'm gonna go get some dinner. Rain may be coming down, but my spirits are up. Honestly, there's just nothing like it. Just pizza and Disney, and it's raining. Also, my face is so wet right now. A thought just occurred to me. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I mentioned this on video yet, but I'll be visiting Disneyland next month. And this is going to be the first time that I've been to California since 2005. Ironically, the last time I visited was to go to Disneyland. So I know a whole lot has changed in the Disneyland parks. But what I'm also excited for, I'm going to go into Los Angeles for the day. And then I'll see how these versions of Hollywood compare to the actual Hollywood in California in 2024. So. I'm excited. I'm gonna eat all this just so I can have my stomach drop on Tower of Terror. Today, July 23rd, 2024, is my one day late 30th anniversary ride on Tower of Terror. Hotel on the dark side of Hollywood. 
Make sure you don't just make it easy for filling. Or you may find yourself permanent resident of the Twilight Zone. We'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Originally, I was going to go to Galaxy's Edge right after, but I'm going to go watch the uh, Walt Disney and One Man's Dream show before that. <laughs> this is so funny. I just walked out of the Walt Disney Presents thing and there is nobody over here. This is so funny because the last time, ooh, that looks pretty cool. The track has lights on it. Honestly, I'm so excited to visit Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland soon because I wonder how it's gonna compare to all of this. You know, I wonder if I ask Han Solo, maybe he can give me a tour around the galaxy in the Millennium Falcon, but I'm not sure he'd let me. Maybe I have to bribe him. You know, just me and the boys on a Tuesday night. I walk around the parks all the time with a watch on me and Mickey just doesn't have anything. So maybe I might just give him my magic band, you know, just something for him to use. You know, he could just maybe wear it as a belt. He could also wear the magic band on his arm or even as a headband. Well, would you look at that, Bluey. In Disney World. That's crazy. Yes, please. I'll be back soon, Hollywood. Team up, team up, team up. I'm seeing that movie this Thursday. No matter where I go, he follows. Today's a Disney Springs day. Look at that, the boat's back up and running. Woo! Top of the morning, tell you lammies. You wanna know something? This might just be Dinosaur at Animal Kingdom. Also, the Lego store is always constantly having a line. So, might as well. Put on your Sunday clothes, there's lots of world out there. Get out the brilliant teen and dine cigars. All right, so until the movie starts, I'm gonna be building this uh, oh, Lego set. Oh, so in total, it took me just a little over an hour to build both of these. Oh boy, it looks like somebody's thirsty. Or mom and dad in the spa. It could be the youngest. I think this is kind of hilarious because last time I was in Disney Springs and saw a movie, I came right over here after I was finished. But now, I'm going to the restaurant next door. This is probably the best way to end my night. Mickey pretzel. Oh, it's magic. So I finished work earlier and now here I am at Magic Kingdom. My first matter of business tonight. Hot dogs at Casey's Corner. Oh boy, would you look at that? Hot dogs. Batter up. Altogether that was 20 bucks, but you know what? I don't care. It's so worth it. I feel like this is just kind of an obligation now. I always take the first bite on camera.
It's all worth it. Uh, can you tell the difference between vegetables? <laughs> you can let us know later. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And my joke was the first one that showed up in the show. So that's pretty cool too. I feel like the longer that my program goes on, I feel like I'm getting more and more possessed by the voice of Mickey Mouse. I feel like I'm dreaming. I don't know why, but I just feel it. I think it's so funny. Every single time I've been on this ride, something's happened. I'm gonna be completely honest here. That ride really wasn't that enjoyable because during it, there were people who kept screaming and it really just took you out of it. And I'm a little disappointed. But I'll just come back some other time. So this is the first time that I've been to the Country Bear Jamboree since the refurbishment, so I'm gonna go in. I still like the original Country Bear Jamboree show, but I like that one too. It's, it's silly and I love it for that. Bone Squat Tianos, how you doing? No matter where I go here, I'm smelling beignets. Jungle Cruise Expedition. Exotic. Why not exotic? Ah! Oh my god! I forgot that the tiki squirt water. I got water all over my pants. Oh well. This is much better than the last time I got on Jungle Cruise where it took over an hour to get on. Ew. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. I love the Jungle Cruise. And now I'm going to avoid these tiki's. And get some Dole Whip. Put on your Sunday clothes, there's lots of Dole out there. Can't let the gang know I messed with Dole Whip. Since I've already seen this show a lot, I'm just gonna head out and get some sleep before work tomorrow. Oh boy, I love me some KFC. Boy, this has made me work up a thirst. I'm gonna meet the boys at the old drugstore soda fountain to get a nice cold sarsaparilla. Oh yeah, by the way, we're drinking root beer now. Same thing, different name. Who needs a pool when you have a Bucky's extra large soda? We want to get nuts. Let's go nuts. Bucky's round and done. Spent $43. And Nico spent more than he would have liked. Honestly, I don't give a at this point. <laughs> 
Santa Monica? I hardly know her. Out of work, time for Epcot. I wasn't really sure what else I was gonna be doing tonight, but I'm gonna go over to the France Pavilion to go on Ratatouille. Oh, I dropped Mickey. Oh my god, look at all those macarons! J'ai beaucoup de amis à la Pavilion de France. J'aime le palais de français de la dame. You see, it's funny because I wasn't expecting, uh, expecting to spend the rest of my evening here in the France Pavilion, but you know, it kind of happened and I'm, I'm happy about that. So before the park closes, I'm gonna get myself a crib. I'm not sure what though. And <laughs> there's nobody in line, but I'm just taking the long way around. Oh, let us see what choices there are for crepes. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, c'est bien value. This is one of the few times that I've actually stayed in Epcot after closing because I wanted to get myself a crepe and also watch the Luminous show. I'd say it was worth it. I probably pissed off so many French people now eating my crepe like a pizza. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in. Tropical storm's coming through, but I'm going to Starbucks. So I just took the bus from Flamingo Crossing East to West, and the entire time that I was on the bus, it was raining, but now it stopped. So why did I get my rain jacket out, huh? You are clear to enter. Welcome to Pizza Planet. Haircut transition. So today I have off of work, so I went shopping, got a haircut, and there's something else that I thought was pretty cool that I wanted to show off. It's a cauldron. With all the Halloween preparations that are coming up soon, I wanted to kind of get something festive, so. What am I going to be brewing today? Powerade. Ah, oh, what a wonderful potion this will be. First, I need some ice. Good enough. And the next one. And finally, to mix it together, Ah, splendid. Now it's time to drink it. It's Powerade, but in a cauldron. Ah, what a wonderful morning, afternoon in Epcot. Hola 
it seems like we have a professional dancer in my group. Oh boy, now it's time for the best part of going to Epcot. Going to the World Showcase for the bajillionth time. Ooh, let's see the bon ton roulé, huh? I'm not sure if it picks up on camera, but it's raining right now. And I just think it's hilarious that I was like, eh, I don't need my jacket. Bonjour. They call him the Ratatouille. But his name is Remy. A simple omelet? Too simple. What? May we? That's it! How you doing? Bon appetit! Ah, oh, what a beautiful day here in the Paris. Ah. Oh, but I cannot stay here. So today quickly turned into shopping around the world. So today, I got myself a Kiki's delivery service graphic notebook. Honestly, I've been wanting to get this for a while and I finally found an excuse to do so. The first time I saw this movie was actually last year at a Studio Ghibli Fest at my local movie theater. So it's kind of cool that I have this now. The only two Studio Ghibli movies that I've seen in full are Spirited Away and Kiki's Delivery Service. I believe I watched Kanye, but that was years ago. And I've been wanting to watch my neighbor Totoro for forever, but I never got around to actually watching it. Also, random thing, Food and Wine Festival is starting up soon, and the American Gardens Theater is going to have a whole bunch of hacks performing here again. And there's a few that I want to see, so I'm going to try my best to get the chance to go over here. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this on video, but this was originally supposed to be my last day working here but I did an extension, so I'm here until January. And now I'm celebrating being here for the past seven months. I'll be seeing that ball till January. You know, a thought just occurred to me. With the amount of times that I visited these parks this summer, I'm surprised I haven't gotten myself any sweatpants for my wrists. They definitely would have come in handy, just so I'm not constantly wiping sweat with my skin. Ni hao. I'm surprised to have been able to keep a smile on my face with the heat today. It's not easy. Also, here in the China Pavilion, they have like this little showcase of stuff from the uh, Shanghai Disney Resort. I first came in here several months ago and I was like, I don't know what to expect from this, but it's exactly what it is, a showcase. I think I might have taken video in here previously. A lot of the stuff that they brought to these parks is now here in the United States. So Tron Light Cycle Run was originally a Shanghai Disney exclusive, but then they brought it here to Florida last year. Well, look at this, we got Duffy and all those fellas. And the same thing with Toy Story Land. This land was originally in Disneyland Paris, and then they brought it to Hong Kong then Shanghai, and then eventually here to Florida. One thing that I'm insanely jealous of is all the Zootopia stuff that they have in Shanghai. And we haven't really gotten much here in Florida yet, but I wonder if they're gonna do that at some point. Only time will tell. So I was just looking online at the other Disney resorts around the world, and I feel like at some point I want to visit the rest of them, so. I've been to Disney World too many times to count, and I've been to Disneyland once in 2005, and then again this year. Then there's Hong Kong, Shanghai, and Paris. So that's three parks to go. Oh, wait, no, 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 Tokyo. I almost forgot that one. So that's four more resorts that I need to go to. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but if there's a will, there's a way. Hola amigos, we have made it to the last pavilion of the day, Mexico. 
All right, my virtual queue spot for Guardians opens in 30 minutes, so I'm gonna head down over there. And also another bit of random information that I probably didn't mention in my videos before. Every single time I've gone on to Guardians, I've always said something random during the pre-show. And I also keep track of which songs that I've had on the ride. I'm still continuing that trend. Oh boy, public domain. Happy Halloween. It's kind of funny. I don't have any immediate need for this uh, uh, bucket, but I kind of want to get it. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul, seal your doom tonight. I made it here just in time. My virtual queue is just about to open. Bikes down right now, so I just ended up sitting in here. Does anyone know what they call themselves? A chatterbox. What? Come on. I do hope you enjoyed your brief visit with us. Over and out. I've now been inside this building for over an hour. You know you go too much when you start to notice new merch. Well, I've pretty much done everything I wanted to do today. I'm gonna eat outside of Disney property, so that's my day. It's a big ball of gas. So right behind me, there's like a giant rainstorm that's approaching. And I'm gonna try to get to the restaurant before it starts down pouring really hard. And that's right now. I almost made it. <laughs> 